Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of Team Moffitt's Journey. I'm Joe Moffitt, this is Christina Moffitt, AKA Team Moffitt, and we're super excited to be coming at you with this first video. You're gonna find that these videos are gonna be real, they're gonna be raw, they're going to be the inside peak of both of our lives, how we're feeling, what we're going through, the good, the bad, and the ugly of what's going on in our life. So we wanted to just start by sharing and saying thank you for tuning in to this episode one of many to come and super excited. So we want to share with you what's going on in our life. So last year, Christine and I, we flew to Georgia, Colorado, Texas, Florida. We were looking as we were traveling, going to masterminds and everything. We were looking for where's home for us. You know, we got married uh, September 30th, 2016. Um, what a beautiful day that was. <laughs> And anyway, we started looking like, where's home? We love San Diego, but for the home we wanted, $2 million isn't really where we want to put our money at right now. And so Christine and I, we just, we started looking like, where would we be? We got with our astrologer, uh, his name's Larry Martin, great guy, and just telling us where home would be for each of us. And um, anyway, so we went there and nothing spoke to us. Did it speak, anywhere speak to no. you? Where was the closest thing that spoke to you? Um. <coughs> None of them. <laughs> I thought Colorado was pretty cool because I love snowboarding. We did a trip last year with some friends there and it just, it was cool, but it was just, we were late to the game, I think. So anyway, we started traveling and nothing spoke to us, but what we did do is we had a friend of ours that moved out to Idaho and he grew up in San Diego. His wife, kids, and mother-in-law, they all moved out there and they loved it and I was like okay cool but then we had our friend Jason and Leslie they went out there and they went to visit a friend and they're like we're moving here <laughs> and so we're like huh you know like what is this all about right we want to see so we said hey let's book a trip out there we want to see what it's about it's not that far I didn't want to go <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell them about that <clears throat> I was resisting the whole time I was like why are we going to Idaho? I don't want to spend the money. It's just stupid. We just got this lease in San Diego. Like, we'll go next year. And Joe was like, well, let's just go and have some fun with our friends. So, so we did. And we checked it out and you know, as soon as we got there, it was super clean at Boise, Idaho's airport, super clean. And uh, it was, what was really cool, I think when we got off the plane, there was like an arcade right there. I was like, so cool, an arcade, <laughs> like I so wanted to play. Um, and then from there, we, we got our rental car, which you, if we travel a lot, you have to like, <laughs> Go downstairs, go outside in the freezing catch cold, a catch a trolley. Yeah, like Hawaii was like that. Uh, that was crazy. Um, <clears throat> and then from there, you have to like give your paperwork. If you guys have traveled, you know you gotta give your paperwork. They gotta check it off. Yeah. We got our stuff. We went down the steps of baggage claim, which was like ten feet down the steps. There was the rental car place right there. Yeah. Grabbed their keys, walked out, and drove off. Like it was like. <laughs> Where are we? So anyway, it was really cool. We went to Chick-fil-A for lunch before we went and met we up love with friends. Chick-fil-A. That is true. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. In fact, we may need to get that today. That's, anyway, <laughs> side note. So we went to Chick-fil-A. People were super nice and super friendly. And then we started to explore that weekend. And I, you know, I don't know about you, but for me, it was like the energy there spoke the same as it spoke here in San Diego yeah. and Del Mar, where we live. Um, in California so a lot of different components were like yes like the scenery of nature was so beautiful mm -hmm. and so that aspect was like yes the people were so friendly I don't always have the easiest time making friends because I'm very introverted and one of the things that stood out in Idaho was everyone's just so talkative and it's like they want to be your friend like everyone wants to be your friend at least everyone we encountered and so for me i thought wow this is going to be a cool place to make new friends easily so that was a yes um every store ladies that you could want were really big into health and nutrition all the whole foods and the trader joe's and 
all that was there. Like the place was just clean and like he <coughs> said, some of the other places we went to, there were cool components, but then other things were like, uh, yeah, but, and so we just got a lot of green lights in Idaho. Yeah, we went and stayed. What was crazy is we got to stay in Idaho at our friend Jason's buddy's house. They were gone for the weekend, so they let us stay there, which was really cool. We didn't have to pay for a hotel or Airbnb. And then what was even more cool was that he let us borrow their vehicles to <laughs> just go explore. I was like, I don't know if I would trust people enough to give them my car keys and say, you know, just use it. So it's just really cool that they did that. And it was like one of those, yeah, this is nice. And so definitely a different scenery, right? Idaho is more mountains, four seasons. I've been here since 2006. You moved down to San Diego in... <clears throat> 14? 2014, September 2014, right? Three years after we got married, yeah. or before we got married. Before. Sorry, <laughs> after, that would be weird. So anyway, it was just speaking to us, and um, you know, we went to dinner right on the Boise River. There was a live band playing, beautiful ambiance. We were talking to the waiters and waitresses about Idaho, and they were just like, you guys gotta move here. And so <laughs> that next day, we, uh, we got with our friends, and we started looking. We drove around all these places, looking at these homes, and now, I'm talking about huge homes, beautiful landscapes for like fractions of what you would pay in San Diego. Like we live in a nice area and right up down the street, there's homes for like 1.5 million that we walk past every night and they're not even new and they're not like, they're beautiful, but they're not yeah. like, I gotta have it. Yeah. <clears throat> the wow, right? Yeah. So, and we want wow. I want wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're like, okay, we want to start a family. We want to, you know, we're we're in a two bedroom luxury apartment. I mean, the pools and the jacuzzi right outside of our window on our balcony, we could see into. And so it's beautiful here, but we wanted some place where we could help call home. We work from home, so we usually wanted our own office. We wanted to have a living space. You know, when we have kids, we want them to be able to have their own rooms. And we have a big family. And so right now it's really hard to have everyone over. It's impossible. And so I just been craving at this phase of my life, a big ass house. <laughs> and so that's what we were searching for yeah. in a great neighborhood. Yeah. The community was huge. I always wanted like the cul-de-sac home where you could just like watch your kids play. Cause I've, I, I used to, I didn't live in a cul-de-sac, but at the end of an apartment complex where we, all the kids would play and I know the parents would hang out and they trusted that the kids were safe. And so that's what I wanted. And anyway, we started looking and we were looking at all these homes in Meridian, Idaho. And all these people were like moving and we said, we were asking the realtors at open houses, like, why are people moving? This is a beautiful city and everything. And they're like, well, they're moving to Eagle, Idaho. <laughs> so we're like, hmm. So we're like, why don't we go check out Eagle? So we did and we went and looked at some new landscapes or new landscapes, new, um, new builds. Yeah. And one thing <clears throat> that I think is important for you guys to understand is like, we're entrepreneurs, as I'm sure many of you watching probably would be, and we or desire have, to be. Or desire to be. And we don't have like a retirement set up and a pension set up. So <clears throat> we work really hard to diversify our money. This guy, he is amazing at it. And one of the things that was important to us is we want to play Monopoly in real life. So could we have afforded a 1.2 in San Diego? Yeah, it would have been a little tight because we want to make our money stretch. We want to invest in other properties. And so the place we found is in alignment with all of our goals because you really have to think big picture here yeah it was cool because we went and looked at some of the um, show homes at mm -hmm. some of these new builds and we found this one uh, company that we really liked and as we started going and exploring we started seeing like oh these houses are gorgeous mm -hmm. and we can go a little bit bigger and as we started to look at some of the bigger <laughs> homes it, they just spoke to us right and so <clears throat> anyway, we were looking that there were certain plots of land that we could buy and um, we knew what kind of home we wanted because of how big it was. And then where did we want it? It was just this whole story around it. But anyway, we liked one lot in this one community and we liked another lot in this other community. And as our friends and I and us were talking that we both liked the same lots. And yeah, so, real quick. 
I don't know if we defined it, but like our friends were with us and it was so cool. Like we were literally both on the market to buy. So we were together, we were looking at places, we considered being like next door neighbors and then then to his story, there's two separate communities that are really, really <coughs> close to each other and we both had our eyes on lot number 10 and uh, we worked some things out and we got the lot that worked well for us. Yeah, and our friends got the lot that they love too. Yeah. Uh, we both have beautiful lots. We're getting the same home, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you share with them a little bit about the details of the, the home. Not, the, not We're not saying this to impress you. We're just sharing with you where yeah. we're at because you're going to see in an episode of our, our new house in yeah. a few months. So. Well, I'm excited and this is just a moment of like patting myself on the back and feeling proud. As we were looking at the different models, having a two-story was really important to him. Um, thinking about the layout of the bedrooms when we have children, the master bedroom being upstairs. And so with what we desired, it was actually the second largest home that they built. and. I was really excited and proud because we were walking through and you know when you're going through these modeled homes there's other people looking as well and I remember this guy walks in and he's like wow must be nice to dream and we weren't dreaming we were making our dreams come true and the house that we chose is a six bedroom four bathroom plus an office three um, car garage three car garage we have this huge huge <laughs> We have this huge balcony. Donald Trump. <laughs> we have this huge balcony um, off of our master bedroom and our um, space overlooks a golf course and the mountains and it is just incredible. Like you said, it's on the corner of a cul-de-sac. We knew all the neighbors. We spent hours talking to them before we you know, pulled the trigger and really decided that we resonated with everything about the plot. Yeah, let me share a little bit about this because there's a private charter school like 100 yards down the road and they're building a nice track and everything there. And so, you know, looking at our kids when we have kids to go to school there. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, what, what was so exciting was the fact that w our neighbors knew that we were really interested and we wanted to get to know them. So we got a chance to talk to some of them, but our house, the back of it overlooks the golf course and the mountains and it has the cul-de-sac in the back. So we get to watch our kids in the future, you know, go out there and play and run around so we know they're safe and it's a very safe community. And um, anyway, so what was exciting for me, it was that, you know, there was, um, as we started going through the numbers, like the back, porch off the master bedroom was an upgrade the um, the extension of the bathrooms and the bedrooms was an upgrade and and just God's favor happened like we we are not getting our backyard completed and that's his us 10 grand landscaper, so my dad's can hook that up he's really <laughs> good uh, with his private business but uh, anyway it's just we saved so much money doing that we got two deals off our house which they said is not ever heard of like it was unheard of right they don't they never did that it's like one one at most and so um, I, I know you're going so I want to share something <clears throat> so Joe and I practice an attitude of gratitude every day like we are so grateful for what we have while we work on having more um, we're very um, committed to our morning rituals and things like that and so we just know we have God's favor on our side and so what he was sharing I just want to kind of highlight is we got so many incentives off of this house. The people selling it were like, we've never seen a couple or a person get so many incentives on their property. So whatever you guys are doing, keep doing because it's working. Yeah. So it was kind of cool. It was this last week that we got a call because what happens is mm -hmm. Once you put your earnest money down, your paperwork starts moving forward, you get approved, you go to your design gallery, which we went to a couple weeks ago, like three weeks ago, yeah. was it? Mm -hmm. Three weeks ago, and it usually takes about a month to get your paperwork back, and then you get scheduled for a dig date. Now, that mm -hmm. dig date's usually three to four weeks out, so at this point, we're thinking the middle of December, or beginning of December is when we're gonna get it. I get a call this week. She <laughs> says, guess what? We got your paperwork back, and we got your dig date. I was like, cool, this was Wednesday. She said, cool, when? And she said, Monday. And I was like, oh my That's gosh, huge. It's, it's huge. We're so excited. So anyway, really cool. We're getting the house of our dreams. And 
just to speed some things up is that we're gonna be packing up in San Diego here in under four weeks. We're gonna go up north to the Bay Area, stay with family, so it's gonna be super fun to spend quality time with them and see them as our house is being built. Yeah. Um, so we're really excited about that. This is the second time we did that, um, except we didn't get a house built before. We were still looking at where do we wanna live and call home. And again, it's just cool because we set our lifestyle up in a way that allows us to travel and it may not seem like a big deal to some people and some people are like hell yeah that's what i want right i remember being stuck in that nine to five i remember getting out of the nine to five but then having a career where i had to stay in one specific area in order to get paid and i asked we asked a really important question and you guys have heard it ask and you shall receive we started asking how can we get paid and work anywhere in the world it happened now we realize we got to ask another question how do we earn passive income anywhere in the and world abundance and of abundance passive of abundance of passive income so that's true so as things start to unfold and things are going that way, we're just super excited about the journey. What we're getting for in Idaho is going to be about $2 million in San Diego. And so it was just, it was a no brainer. Russell Brunson, he, you know, ClickFunnels, he lives out in Idaho, Boise, mm -hmm. Idaho. In fact, his office is in Eagle, Idaho. We're coming for you, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> and so here's the deal. We don't want you to come to Idaho. <laughs> we want to keep it our best kept secret. Now, if you want to come, awesome. We're no, probably going to be a trendsetter because people in <clears throat> Idaho, they're like, don't, we don't talk about it. Like people, oftentimes everyone's like why Idaho and then you go and the locals will tell you like we keep this a secret yeah and so we're gonna do masterminds there you're gonna be invited if you so choose to come but um, that's what you know is that's home for us this is where we want to start our family and raise our family we're gonna probably get a place back here in San Diego a condo or something like that and um, and then maybe some homes internationally or different parts but what's cool is we get to really invest in real estate out there where it's a lot cheaper and you can make more passive income from that. So one thing I do want to share is because as this journey is going on and you know, when we were getting married, when Christina moved down here, when we started our coaching practice and you know, as we go off and travel and then when we found our home, everyone questioned us along the way. <laughs> everyone, you guys know what you're doing, you know, are you sure? And that's part of mastering your life by design is not listening to those people out there, those naysayers that say, oh, or they, they let their limiting beliefs come in on you. We, we were clear on our path. We knew what we wanted. We weren't making any motivation emotional decision, we made calculated decisions. It was all by design and we live a life, you know, and honestly, <clears throat> I look at people and we say this, you know, behind closed doors, it's like, do you, do they have the results we want in life or not? And when they don't, we don't listen, all right? We don't want that. And so anyway, one of the things that happened was my mom was out there in New Jersey and she was in a, uh, she was in a different position in life. And so what we made the decision as a family unit was to say, hey, let's help her move across country. And, um, and then when we do decide to have kids and have a baby, that she could help out. And it's just a different energy, like Atlantic City, New Jersey to Boise, Idaho. Yeah, it so, was pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, so <laughs> it, was an it, was an, uh, it was an episode in itself, a journey in itself, to having her drive across country, help her um, get all situated out there. And so um, really cool that she's out there now. And We're gets working it. on all the parents. Yeah, <laughs> we're trying to get all of our family out and out here and whatnot. So anyway, we're just super excited about where we are. We got a month left here in San Diego and we're gonna miss our friends dearly. Yeah. Miss uh, the ocean. Yeah, miss the ocean. We're giving up the ocean for mountains, but like I said. We travel too a lot, yeah. so it doesn't feel like we're missing anything. And I think that's where people <clears throat> come in and they're just so limited in their thinking. Like for us, people are like, well, what if you don't like it? And we're like, we'll move, yeah, we'll <laughs> right? Move it's like, back. we know that there's endless opportunities in this world. And so we just follow our highest joy and our highest excitement in every moment that we can. And um, right now it's leading us to Idaho. That's right. So we're super excited, but here's the key. Before we wrap up is like, <clears throat> we were talking the other day and one of the things that I was telling Christina mm -hmm. and some other people is that 
we're super excited about our new chapter of life where we start having our family and living in Idaho. And that's gonna happen in about five to six months. And I don't wanna wish these next five or six months away. I wanna be yeah. present. I wanna spend time with her. I wanna, we're gonna, we have another trip in March to Hawaii. We have a couple other trips planned. I think you're going to Florida for a Business Tony Robbins Mastery. event, at Business yeah. Mastery. And um, I have a private client that wants to fly me out to New York to um, kind of see what their operations are like. And as uh, we kind of help build out his coaching department. So really cool, really fun, exciting stuff. And we want to be present. We want to enjoy each day. So my wish to you is if you have something out there in the future you're looking forward to, awesome. And savor the moment that you have right now, the present moment, because there's nothing like it. And we, we stop and we work on being present. I know I can do a better job. <laughs> is that true? Yes. You know, I might be on my phone in a game or something like that and she wants to talk and I'm just like, oh wait, I'm in the middle, right? And go put my phone down, I can do a better job, right? I know I can. We both can. We both can, so. Um, so that's where we're at. Anything else you wanna share? Nope, I just have to use the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome guys. Well, hey, thanks for tuning in to episode one of Team Moffitt's Journey. I promise you it'll get better, it'll get better, bigger, better, see, I'm, batter. look, yeah, I'm better, one. yeah, Badass. look, I'm not perfect, okay, <laughs> I mess up too, look, I have this tape here, because I hurt my arm, and working on uh, rehab right now, but anyway, we're going to, uh, we're going to have different lifestyle shots when we're traveling, different episodes will be while we're in the car, we might be in Hawaii, we might be in our new home, you know, who knows where we're going to be, but we want to just give you an insight for those of you that watch this video in its entirety, thank you for joining with us and we want to welcome you to the other journeys and so if you're watching this for the first time subscribe with the like button below hit that like button hit that subscribe button leave a comment if you have questions or want to say anything feel free we're an open book yeah. and uh, we're gonna expose more and obviously as you saw me stutter we're not perfect <laughs> so cool awesome awesome guys. guys thanks for tuning in see you on the next episode bye